President of the United States. Hey, why weren't you all in North Carolina? <laughs> I know. Well, I was delighted to learn the exciting news this morning that our unemployment rate has dropped to 6.9 percent, the lowest level in over five years. 332,000 more Americans were working last month, and today employment in the United States stands at an all-time high. And I believe that's not only in the amount of numbers, but also in the percentage of the overall uh, labor pool. It's interesting to note that this nation, which believes in lower taxes and free and fair trade, has created more than 8 million jobs now in 33 months. We're seeing the proof that America's economy is packing new power. We can keep driving our unemployment rate down. We can keep opening up opportunities for our future. If all of us unite in working for an America where government doesn't grow, prosperity does. In the days ahead, I urge the Congress to join with me and me with renewed energy in our shared responsibilities to control all unnecessary spending, to work for a freer and fairer trading system, and to pass a new tax plan for America, a fair share tax plan for all. Now, let me add that we are still discussing the subjects of trade and South Africa. But let me direct your questions on the economy to Beryl Sprinkle, because I have to be getting back to the office. The schedule was planned before we knew that I would be coming in here. And you're going to announce some trade sanctions, Mr. President. No, as I say, those things are still uh, under discussion. And uh, as quickly as we have something to report, on those discussions, we will. About South Africa? I can't say that it would be today. I doubt that it would be. Mr. President, Senator. Senator sure about sanctions against South Africa, there's some indication that you want to try and head off a, a uh, bruising battle with Congress. On, I say on those, both those subjects, trade and South Africa, we're in consultations now on both of those. And when we can, and uh, I hope it won't be too long, uh, we'll be. Are you, why did you say, sir, that sec? Right. Well, you do something about foreign trade. Uh, that's what we're meeting on, I, as I say. Any second thoughts, Mr. President, about your policy of constructive engagement? Um, I think it's the only thing that's shown any signs of improvement uh, in that whole situation Do as yet. Do you really believe that all segregation has been eliminated in South Africa, Mr. President? You said that in your radio interview. No, and I didn't intend to say that. I did know that all the people that have been coming back here have been reporting to me on how widespread was this, and I'm sorry that I carelessly gave the impression that I believed that it had been totally eliminated. Well, there well, are areas you, where it hasn't. What do you believe is the case in South Africa regarding people's ability to live, to move about freely, to vote? You'll hear about all of this as soon as we finish are these still consultations. Against sanctions, Mr. President. Uh, still Beryl against is sanctions. waiting impatiently here why, to take your do questions. Why you think you were so misinformed about the state of uh, the situation in South Africa in terms of whites and blacks? Helen, I will answer that one question, and then I'm going to walk out of here, and Beryl's going to take over. I was n not nearly as ill-informed as many of you have made it out that I was. I may have been careless in my language in that one thing but I was talking about improvements that actually do exist there and have been made. But as I say, I, kn I know that uh, segregation has not been eliminated totally, and in some areas uh, there's been no improvement, but there has been a great improvement over what has ever existed before. Well, there's no vote there, no participation. No, no, no. I was talking about the specific things of segregation, of uh, labor, and the new things that have taken place with regard to labor and things of that kind. What about the land tax reform plan in the House Ways and Means Committee, sir? Uh, Will you get tax later. reform this year? Huh? All later. <laughs> You've been hearing me talk about tax reform. You'll hear me some more. What about Gorbachev, Mr. President? Do you have a reaction to the interview in Time Magazine? We haven't heard from you on that yet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take, I'll take it up with him. Mr. No President, can you tell us if there's anything new about the Americans missing, still missing in Lebanon? Uh, we're working just as hard as we can in, in every channel that we can. 
about that. It's a far different situation than hostages. And uh, the fact that there isn't anything out there every day as there was on the hostage situation doesn't mean that that is not the most important thing for us. And we are doing everything. Do you see no progress at all in that? We don't know. How are you feeling, sir? Any aches or pains? Uh, no. <laughs> How should have should have seen me. No, I feel fine. As a matter of fact, my biggest problem is with the doctors. Uh, that we're still trying to you know, shorten down the riding time. When are you going back out to Bethesda, Mr. President? For the checkups, you know? I don't know, but pretty soon. I know that's a routine thing that has to be done. All right. The, uh, we'll have Burl on, and we can continue your television coverage for Burl if you'd like. <clears throat> on the matter of trade, consultations are still continuing on trade. And that's the reason we have not made an announcement this morning. Don't anticipate an announcement today, possibly in the weekend. Did you think at 9.15 that there would be an announcement?